hard. Natalia Frolova of the Soviet Union on the floor. This is one of Natalia's favorite events. I think you'll see why. She really enjoys herself out there. 15 years old from Leningrad. Unbelievable first pass. That was a whip through to a full end pipe. I can't believe the difficulty these girls are doing. This is incredible. And this is just an exhibition, right? <laughs> <laughs> can't wait to see them in competition in the Goodwill Games. It'll be incredible. Oh, look at this part. So much feeling. This is what the Russians do so well, so beautifully. they can put this much energy into their dance and do the tumbling runs that they do. Preparing for the last run. And a double back. Well done. Beautiful exercise. A lot of American gymnasts have great respect for the Soviet athletes. So we asked the Soviet girls who they look up to. And Ludmila Tereshiva and Ludmila Tereshiva and Olga Mastapanova are also favorites of mine. And the young lady you're looking at right now is Stacy Gunthorpe. She's 15 years of age, lives and trains in Houston, Texas, under Bella Caroli. This is one of Stacy's strongest events. She opens with a move called a Jaeger, which is a hop to a front flip. Oh, I've really never seen Stacy have trouble with that. I'm very surprised. Swings quite well. Here's a second release move. We're seeing more and more often girls doing two major releases in the routine. Setting up for her dismount. And it's a layout flyaway. It's a much easier dismount than she normally does. You can't be sure, but she might have had some grip problem. Earlier, I mentioned the heavy hitters. Well, get ready, because one of them is in the on-deck circle right now. ...to become a world champion two times, the finest gymnast in the world, Yuri Korolev. Yuri Korolev, many call the finest gymnast in the world. Bart, you might argue with that, but he's good, isn't he? <laughs> one of the great things about Yuri is that he is so strong physically, but I think he's even stronger mentally. Very few people compete this well, as well as he does in international competition. His perfect position on the rings. He scored a 9.85 in the scoring competition of this four-city meet on the rings. He has a two-and-a-half-year-old young boy who I'll bet you enjoys sure. his father's performances. He's 23 now, and they said age 19, he became the youngest absolute champion in the history of gymnastics. We saw him win the world championships in 81, and it's unbelievable that he came back in 85 to win the same event. Very nice routine. Yuri Koroyev from the Soviet Union. Our next performer is not the veteran you've just seen, but more or less a newcomer on the international scene. Her name is Vera Kolesnikova. She's 17 years old from the Soviet Union. And she's got loads of difficulty in this routine. Watch, she opens, stalled her to handstand, right into a reverse hex. Now watch this, she casts right back up, and another reverse hex to a mixed grip. You rarely see that move done. A one and a half twist, 
to a new little move, which is kind of the new fad in gymnastics, that little move over the low bar. Free hip to handstand and a double twisting flyaway. Put a problem with that landing, but a nice routine. From the Soviet Union, 17-year-old Vera Kolesnikova. There were several portions of the routine that weren't quite as clean as we usually see from the Soviets. But this is a part she does quite well. Here's that first reverse hack. Now you see the coach steps in. It's just for safety only. Now in competition, that would be a deduction, but since we're in exhibition situation, it's fine. And here's that second reverse hack. She catches with a mixed grip so she can turn and drop right to the low bar. And our showcase of talent continues in a moment, featuring the finest female gymnast in the world. Women's world champion at age 16, who is also world champion on this and two other events. Please welcome Yelena Shushinova. This is Yelena Shushinova from the Soviet Union, 16 years of age, 4 foot 9, 86 pounds, working on the floor. 86 pounds of solid muscle. This girl's a strong gymnast. Full in, beautifully stuck. She has a little bit different style than most of the Soviets have. Very unique. I've counted at least nine first place finishes for her in competition since 1983. Yelena is a great competitor. Under pressure, she's remarkable. Middle pass. A side one and three, you rarely see women do that. We talk about the level of difficulty in these exercises. It's amazing to see that none of them water back. and They're doing all-out exercises, and in her case, we talk about the difficulty relative to women's gymnastics. She does more difficult routines than most men even attempt. Exactly. Now watch this dismount. It takes a lot of endurance. Double back. You'd never know that was the end of her routine. She really has great endurance to finish that strong. Now watch this first tumbling run. Very few female gymnasts tumble this well. The full twisting double back. Now watch the landing. Not a movement at all. She sticks it solid. Now look at this middle run. This left me completely speechless when I saw it. It's a pike one and three quarter somersault. You never see female gymnasts do that move. It's a top level move even for the men. <laughs> she had uh, a little less trouble with her English than she did turning on the microphone. And, of course, she introduced a good friend of mine also, Tim Daggett, my gold medal teammate from the 84 games. You know, one of the things that has amazed me about gymnasts in general is the strength of the gymnasts. And comparing them to other athletes like football players or wrestlers or something like that, how would you compare the strength? Well, one very important characteristic of a great gymnast is have fantastic body weight to strength ratio. You'll find that many of these top athletes in gymnastics can bench press twice their body weight. Not very many athletes can do that. Tim's blasting through his exercise with finish with a nice double back. You know, Charlie, the U.S. team has nicknamed Tim the Bull, mm -hmm. not only because of his strength, but because he's so aggressive in competition. Okay, you've explained that pretty well, Kathy. Arena Baraksanova of the Soviet Union, balance beam champion, and she's going to perform on the beam right now. Arena is beautiful on this event. Is that round off mound again? become very popular. That so layout chest draw. She has great presence on beam. 